Hi everyone, John Federico here. Some of you may know me as Gadget Boy. Um, wanted to run a little test here uh, using a special microphone I had created for the iPhone 3GS. Now, those of you who have an iPhone 3GS know that it shoots video, but the issue here with the mi with the microphone is that it's direction it's directed toward you, the pe person who is looking at the, in the viewfinder and shooting the audio, because it's a phone, and that's where you would expect the microphone to be is facing you as you're making a call. So I was wondering if I could create what essentially is a shotgun mic for an iPhone 3GS. Now, I didn't want to spend a lot of money or get that elaborate with it, nor did I want it to be large. So I contacted uh, Darren at Giant Squid Audio Lab. Uh, Giant Squid makes micro custom microphones for podcasters and people who do live taping of uh, shows, of concerts and such. And uh, what he, didn't, he couldn't give me exactly what I wanted. What I wanted was this. I'll flash a little thing on the screen, which basically is a right angle that I could plug into the phone and direct the microphone toward my subject. Darren couldn't do that for me because he couldn't get um, essentially right-angled plugs that had the four-pole connector. That is essentially what is, on, uh, is used in an iPhone 3GS. And that's so you can have both uh, speakers, or both speakers, that's so you can have both uh, earphones as well as a microphone attached to it as well as have some controls on the handset. So it has all this stuff it needs to run through it. So what Darren sent me was basically a um, lavalier now with a short cable. Obviously, it's about as long as my arm. Um, and what I wanted to see if I, is I, if I could use it um, as uh, I intended it, just basically by clipping it to the iPhone itself or to my sleeve and facing it toward my subject. So let's give it a try. Okay, so just by way of comparison, and it's not really a good comparison because... Uh, my hand is essentially over the mic as I'm holding this, um, so let's uh, let's see if we can fix that a little bit. I'll just move my hand like this, and then move my other hand like this, so that the microphone is is covered by my hand. So so there's what the iPhone 3G sounds like with the built-in microphone. Okay, so now I'm recording using the lavalier mic clipped to uh, itself for the most part, uh, facing me. Um, like a shotgun mic or like a, a directional mic. Um, it's, it's definitely better, as you can hear, but it still doesn't have the quality of either a clipped-on lavalier mic or uh, a true directional mic. Okay, so now I'm back on the lavalier mic, or I should say recording uh, the video with the microphone being used as a lavalier and not as a makeshift shotgun mic. Um, and it seems to work pretty well. Um, that's how I began this little uh, experiment uh, in my first recording. So if you want one for yourself, uh, check out Giant Squid Audio Labs. Uh, I'll see if I can flash the URL up here because I'm going to do some editing anyway. Um, it works very well. It's very simple. It's very small. I think what I might do is, though, I might uh, order one from Darren that has the proper length of cable so that it can be used as a proper lavalier, say six feet or so. And then I could use it for man on the street interviews. Uh, and for me, man on the street would be more like you know filming people at conferences and and so on. Um, it's not going to be good for family photos because um, because it still doesn't seem to really have that the, the strength that it needs or the sensitivity that it needs to be a true uh, directional mic that you might use for a video camera. But none, it does the job nonetheless. So check out Giant Squid Audio Labs and. Uh, if you want to get one made yourself, make sure you contact Darren beforehand and ask him if he has any uh, four-pole iPhone jacks uh, to make microphones out of because he makes all these things custom. So there you go. Thanks, Darren, and uh, I'll see you later.